right, so today what we have is we got a new little plot here. Um, this was actually a uh, pond. It was a drainage pond, and the pond next to it got dug deeper, so it's actually a piece of drain tile going through this out to this other pond now. So didn't need this anymore. So this got filled in. Um, and as you can see, it's been a couple months since it got uh, done. And this ground is hard. It got packed in with a dozer. Um, and you see we got some nut grass, a bunch of china berry trees, and some fig weed all coming back out here. Not really that worried about all that. Uh, if I get a chance, I'll come through and spray it um, in the next day or two. What I'm really want to do today is plant. Um, got a mixed bag of stuff I'm gonna do. We got some leftover chufa, some sunflowers. I got some bean run grain sorghum. Uh, what else do we got? Um, a little bit of brown top and uh, buckwheat. So I'm gonna plant all of this plant all this and that uh, just kind of just get some ground cover back out here this fall I'll come through and spray it all out and we've got some labino clover I think I'm gonna come out here and plant that and this but also gonna go plant it was so dry to begin with before rain hit we had a plot that didn't really do so well so I'm gonna replant it and uh we'll uh we'll have us a good start there that's what we're going to try for anyways we want to try to clean everything up some and um i'm gonna i'm gonna plant this and plant that other plot i'm gonna shoot uh i got 50 pounds of buckwheat got two five gallon buckets full of grains over them uh got about 15 pounds of sunflowers probably gonna be a little heavy on the buckwheat but i don't know we'll see let's go up here and go look and see what we got I'm gonna plant with a 60T. I don't have a UTV today. All I got is a, a Kubota tractor we got for going on sales calls and doing, you know, demos and all for customers with our turf equipment. Um, that's what I'm gonna use today. And let's go see. Got it over here in the shade. So, but let's go see what we got. First things first, I need to make sure there ain't nothing in this thing. This, this was a demo machine that took down to Florida a couple weeks ago to a um, cow, cow show. Well, cow production show. Yeah, well, it's clean, ain't nothing in it. Um, See, for mixes, usually you're looking at about 40 to 80 pounds. I'm gonna say 40 pounds of what we got because we got a big bag of stuff. But a lot of it's low rate stuff too, but we do want it to be thick. So, um, when I say bin run, this is what bin run grain sorghum looks like. Uh, this was cut with an old, old grain combine. That's a 1680 International. Case International Combine that's never been rebuilt. So the cleaning capacity on it could be a lot better. Um, this is our, we got top in this bag and sunflowers in this one. We got about 10 pounds in there and we got up uh, about 10 pounds in there, brown top, grain sorghum. We got about, 20 pounds of chufa here. So it's a 25 pound bag, use about five pounds of it. And a 50 pound bag of buckwheat. So, um, I also got some Korean Les Bedeza. I'm not sure if it's the right time to plant that or not. Um, but that is a good legume. I might look that up and see. But, yeah, I wanna mix some of this stuff up do it by sight really got you know i got them two five gallon buckets got that uh 
sunflowers there. Man, you gotta find me. I'm gonna go find me something so I can sit there and start mixing this stuff up, putting it in the box. And I'm figuring on 40, 50 pounds an acre. Um, just cause I do want it thick. I want to get some weed control out there. And, uh, you know, uh, I've got close to 100 pounds worth of seed here, I'd say. So I got about two acres I can plant. So that's going to be about right. Um, so, yeah, we'll go see what we can do. Uh, part of this is going to be like this out here. Is just, you know, it's going to be kind of conventional because that's fresh dirt. But uh, the other patch is going to be no-till. So we'll get a little bit all of it. Um, and show a little bit of stuff with this 60T. Um, I'm going to start out here. So, this right here, I want to make sure that that's kicked in. And it's a circuit protector. And what it does, you see it's, that's clicked out, clicked in. All right, so what this does is you got two batteries on this machine. This connector here goes from one battery to the other. So one battery gets drawn down, this will click out. All you do is go back here and swap to this other battery. You got two wires. You got one going to this controller here. This lifts it up, this lets it down, and this turns the seed box on and off. And that on and off switch for the primary, it'll be glowing red whenever you turn it on. So let's watch that real quick. And when you turn it on, come out and then mash it off that goes back in that cuts your seed flow off all right now let's go up here um, i didn't hook this thing up so i don't know i'm just going to make sure that our wires <clears throat> to our battery are clicked up when i come to the wrong side i thought it was on this side here we go or did i well ah. there it is all right so we've got one wire going to the positive, and then we got our negative wire on our negative terminal. So that's right. Yes. All right. So we'll close that back up. That's good to go. You always want to run your wire so you're not getting them in your feet, or and also you don't want them getting caught in everything you go by. So go. You know, Make sure this kind of gets me right where we're going to do that no-till stuff at. It's kind of woolly, so we want to make sure that wire doesn't get ripped out. It'll be all right there. Um, I don't like that. Let's hang on. Let's see. Let's move this wire up to there. Yeah, there we go. Man. So when I get in and out, I just have to watch what I'm doing. But that right there, that'll help keep it from getting wired up getting wound up in something so and this right here you got so you got a plenty of wire some of these utvs and all you need some extra wire to get places and uh this right here gives you plenty of it i don't like leaving my extra on here i'd rather have it on my tractor so it's personal preference as to what you want to do i like to have my controller up here where I can get to it. Uh, I got my water cup right there in a second. I'll put in that cup holder in a second. But I've got to have your wires. So you want to have some slack in there so you can make turns and all. It don't get caught and everything. And so let's go up here. Now, yeah, that's going to be, any, that's going to be good there. I might actually might actually get me a zip tie and I don't know maybe not let's see is this gonna fit this yeah that fits all right so we might just do that right there one way or the other we're gonna have it right in here and this wire let's see we got some slack pulled up here now so we're gonna run this a little bit different I'm gonna run that across there 
We're gonna let that drop down. And then we're gonna come up here. And we're going to put the extra bit in here because we don't want it to get I don't mind I don't want it to get wrapped around my feet, but I also don't want it to get wrapped up in a bunch of weeds and get dug out. So we're gonna try to just yeah, there we go. That way it don't get caught up on everything. And so now Got it running, weeds won't pull it out. This, I'm gonna think on this, I might move that later. But, so, now, that's all ready to go. Um, as far as our depth goes, right now it's kinda set kinda deep. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna sit there and pull this out and let that go down a little bit. Let's see. I'm gonna say I'm gonna be in four. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick this up some. And I'm gonna line up the hole for four. And go in that. Four is usually about an inch and a half. Um, there's bare dirt out here. It's gonna be kind of hard, so I want it to be able to penetrate some. So I'm gonna put it on four. We'll see what it looks like when we make a pass. We'll do this side first. And I like kind of back wrapping it so it don't pull that pin out. There we go. That way we don't pull the pin out. Now come around to this side and do the same thing. So, oops, dropped y'all there right quick. So, to go find me something to fix all my seat in and then we'll do some calibrating all right i'm gonna show you my very scientific method of mixing this seat up here get a whole whole scoop of big scoop of rain sorghum come over here get a whole big scoop of This stuff, buckwheat. I put that in there. Right, that's my big scoops. Then I come over here. I found this stuff. Some uh, cleaned up <coughs> leftover. Um, I think I'll clover. I'm gonna plant some of it. Just get a good. Just get. I know it's hot, but we gonna get a little start on it. Do a scoop of that. A scoop of brown pot. Scoop of sunflowers. And another big scoop of grain sorghum. And I ain't trying to be exact, I'm just trying to get a good mix to start with here for doing my uh, calibrating. Method. So we got years about a half a bag of that buckwheat so far so good all right once you do that take it find another bucket so i made it okay. good take it put it up there and just dump it in that's about the fourth box I've made up there. So let's see how much we got in there. Got a good little bit. So uh, we'll make about two more boxes worth and then we'll do some calibrating. All right, so we got our mix in there and we're ready to calibrate. And so we want something thick, get some green out there. Uh, I'm shooting for 50 or 60 pounds. 
about four miles an hour. Uh, so we're gonna go spring mix is two for 40, two and two thirds for 80. So we're gonna do two and a third for four miles an hour. And uh, it'll be 60 pounds. So. Right now, we are on three or third. We're gonna move that. And we already got half inch plates in here, so you don't have to change that. That's something else the chart says, half inch plates. So, go do this. And, this right here. Two and a third. Try that, see what that does. Put our pinch back in so we don't let it. And then for 60 pounds, four miles an hour, 2.18 pounds. We will see how close we get to that. We got our, got our trough here. disc in the trough so and the seat comes out it goes in the trough just like that all right now we'll grab our scale out of the truck we got some cups there to wipe stuff with and let's see what we got this thing needs a bath and our scale right there. You're telling got a bunch of junk in there doing all this stuff. Got another bag of sunflowers and we'll get plants some more somewhere else. But now we got a scale over here. And now I'm turn this on for one minute and I'm gonna use my timer on my video here to do it so I'm gonna free 30 and now
scale on. I like doing my pounds. All right, now we're gonna tear our bucket out here. Tear that out. And see what we got. 1.9, so that's about half what we wanted to get. Which ain't bad. What we put, and we put in the reel, so. Yeah, that's 30 pounds. Um, it's not actually bad, honestly, for what we got in there. That means we just got about four acres worth of seed to plant. We feel like we wanna go double over. I actually might just do that, because what I got in there, the grain stock is clear about eight pounds an acre. Sunflowers about eight, which we got a whole lot less sunflowers because we got them so many in the mix. And the buckwheat's supposed to be about 45 to 50 pounds. So 30 pounds, everything mixed together like we got it here, probably not bad. Um, you know, I think we're just gonna stick with that. We decide we want to go a little thicker somewhere. We got some left. We'll go back over some. So, yeah. All right. That's what we're going to go do. All right. All right. So, got out here. Got our uh, speed set. Uh, figured out what our pins needed. Be wide. That's a hydrostat tractor. So, it's kind of hard to figure out your speed if you ain't going to speed up. But we got it figured out. So, now, come back here. Let's we'll see what depth we're playing at and see if we need to play around with it some. So I'm shooting for about an inch. Most of the stuff in that mix is about an inch. The sunflowers now gonna be about two, but it's about an inch. It's about an inch. It's about an inch. Uh, three quarters so just depends but we're averaging about an inch just about where i want to be it's supposed to rain some is coming saturday so and i know my line's off bad here but we're gonna think we're gonna shoot with that and let that go have my get my straighten my road out here in a second but i just want to see if it's gonna cut through this stuff it did a good job penetrating some hard sunday dirt there so know what rpm i need to be going and they're facing to get after it you can see there's some stumps and all that here we got plenty of stuff to mess around on but we're just gonna turn her on we go to the road turn around and come back y'all ready
that's what this this thing's made to handle. See it right there. And it didn't break nothing. Fade around a little bit. We got a hammer over there. Let's see if this old wrench will do the job. what this thing would do now. And, uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to try to keep planting some more of this and just see how, how it goes. Yeah, I'm going to go back and get a hammer get that out. Unless it looks big enough. Let's stick around here. Right, let's try that. Never works. We made this thing, we designed this thing to be able to handle them. So you just cut through all this old stumps and all that. That's what it's designed to handle. And yeah, you can see right where I picked that thing up. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna go get a hammer, get this knocked out and get back to planting.